Yo, what up, Street Talks there, Kim. All right, the thought. Why I don't read internet comments. So this is something that I've personally learned for myself. I have never read any YouTube comment or blog post comment or any comment just anywhere, whether positive or negatively, which has actually shaped my thinking in a good way. So I always thought to myself, you know, and I kind of definitely fall in the, the footsteps of Steve Jobs, where you cannot design by committee, you cannot have ideas by committee. All committees and collectives and groups are eventually destined to die. And what lasts, the individual. So even why I think Nietzsche's words and thoughts and ideas have continued to, uh, to, to live on is because he didn't really attach himself to any sort of school. You know, he was pretty much uh, anti-dogma and his words still remain, right? However, like even a lot of the Stoic philosophers, right? I mean, Stoicism as a movement is, you know, it's still been pretty robust this, uh, to the stand of time. But, you know, sometimes a lot of uh, philosophers end up getting swept under the rug because they're part of a movement rather than being individual thinkers who could stand on their own two feet. So what I encourage you to do then is, you know, don't read comments because, you know, as long as people leave comments which are anonymous on the internet, they got no real skin in the game. And even if people do use their real, um, their real personalities and their real faces on the internet, I know in my experiences, a lot of these negative comments come out of either like miscommunication, petty envy or jealousy, or people just, some people actually just have like mental illnesses or physiological illnesses or just some uh, personal problems that they kind of need to deal with. And they, they see you as a scapegoat and they try to take it out on you. And so I would encourage you, if you really want to stay motivated, disable all your blog, uh, your comments on your blog, your YouTube, whatever, disable stats. Like I, I don't think I've looked at my site stats for like, you know, maybe five years, even on YouTube. I just make the videos, I upload it, I share it, but I never look at the comments, I never look at the views. And the nice thing is as a consequence, I'm so much more motivated to keep creating, to keep exploring, to keep, uh, keep sharing. And once again, the goal here is longevity. The goal is to never run out of inspiration. So, you know, don't read comments. Because even the people who give you a good comment, obviously it feels nice to get like a, a nice pat on the back. But the, the, the trap of having too many nice comments is then you end up placating to what people like about you rather than innovating and being on the next one. So uh, in this sense, more faith in uh, Steve Jobs' notion, following your own gut, uh, more trust in Kanye West and his, uh, his, his nonsense um, for the most part. You know, put less uh, faith on people who spend too much time on the internet reading comments. I think they're to be less trusted.